wacha tu tufanye hii presentation tumechelewa sana uh, that time i was thinking our national team will be able to make it to the world cup finals in the republic of south africa but of course that did not happen but we cannot uh, give up i have no doubt to myself that um, we will work hard to make sure that our team uh, will be present uh, at the next uh, world cup wherever there i don't know where that one will be does anybody know brazil brazil brazil, brazil. in brazil so but it means that we really have even to depoliticize uh, our soccer administration i think i was listening to a commentary i think on bbc on why uh, east african <coughs> countries along with central african countries do not seemingly do well uh, and do not end up uh, being represented in the world cup finals so and, and that's a story for another day we uh, i happen to be patron of sofa park sofa park and and i think clearly that um, they they were supposed to have won uh, in the the, the uh, the tournament in, in Kigali recently, but that they, were, they came up third after beating the winners <laughs> at the preliminary stages. That tells you that if we go professional soccer, this country has great potential. But today I called you so that you can witness with me uh, the handing over of um, uh, travel documents uh, to Cosmos, who is going uh, to watch the match on the 19th between Cameroon and Denmark. For him, I'm sure it's going to be a lifetime experience. And after he comes back, of course, he was unemployed. We, he cannot go watch the World Cup, come back, and, and I think he was pushing um, Kokoteni. Uh, so we love to see how we can now move him to the next level. And by this act itself, it shows that there's potential in each one of us. And we saw Cosmos' potential as a soccer player and uh, Think that uh, I'm very therefore delighted to be able to present him with the air ticket, um, and the passport, and the other travel documents. Kwa hivyo na shukuru sana. Na nadhani kwamba mashabiki wote wa Kandanda watafurahia tukio hili. Wahenga alisema ahadi ni ndini. Na mimi leo nimewaita ili kushuhudia uh, ulipaji wa dini. Uh, na kwa sababu kijana mwaka wa 2007 ulikuwa mwaka wenye mambo mengi yote zote twaelewa wakati tulikuwa katika harakati za kutafuta kura hapa na pale tulipokuwa uwanja uh, tunanoka alikuwa amepaa juu sana pale alafu yeye alikuwa shabiki na ndio basi nikasema haje na tukazungumza nikaahidi hadharani kwamba uh, Mungu akitujalia nitajaribu kufanikisha ziara yake kwenda kushuhudia eh mtuano wa uh, I mean uh, uh, mambo haya kandanda uh, finals ya world cup uh, south africa kwa hivyo basi leo nina furaha sana sijui kama angetaka kusema kitu simama nikupatie yeah. eh hey, thank you so much here you are uh, na mimi nashukuru sana bafana bafana kama as hosts yeah kama wangeshinda kombe hili Ana, anajua hiyo that is a wish of mzee madimba right Uh, so Mandela, the icon, the African icon, and and, and I don't I don't know how many of you have watched um, this movie uh, when South Africa hosted uh, the World Rugby uh, Cup finals, and 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 between a white coach and decided uh, that they're going to unite South Africa around that event. Uh, this is another defining moment for South Africa and Africa, that this is happening for the first time on African soil. It's a matter not just for South Africans, but all of us. So, um, may the best team really win. But uh, really, I would want to see an African team. So, but we must also translate what is happening in South Africa in order to reinvigorate our own soccer in this country. I, I, I'm talking to you as a soccer player. Yeah, I'm sure Kenyans will have forgotten I, I scored the only face-saving goal <laughs> when Kenyan parliament played the German Bundestag and the floodlights uh, uh, that time i think i was a deputy speaker we were three goals to nil and and uh, somewhere somehow we managed to score the only face saving goal and it was live on kbc amakuwa na vyombo vingi kama vile mlivyo sasa so you can imagine how i became very popular overnight <laughs> what is important 
is is that this is a very historic occasion for Africa, uh, happening, taking place in South Africa. And so Cosmos will represent, I'm sure, the aspirations of very many young people. I also want to congratulate the media houses and other uh, corporations that have been also trying to, you know, I've seen people saying, ukifanya hivu na unashinda tiketi ya kwenda South Africa and others, who are doing things like to, to, to motivate young Kenyans. And you know the future really is for these young Kenyans, 25 years and below, you know, today as we speak, 65% of Kenyans are aged below 25 years. This is it, for this is it. This is, and I'm sure the Cosmos does represent the aspirations of many of 